In this video, we're going to show you how you can make your own vertical wormery out of wood. A wormery is the perfect way to incorporate components of the bioeconomy into your home or school. Organic waste is the largest waste category above any other kind, with the majority of it going to landfill. However, worms are magnificent creatures with the power to turn your kitchen food waste into nutritious compost and worm tea for your garden. By building a wormery, you can not only help new plants grow with the end product, but significantly reduce your organic waste and help save the planet. A vertical wormery starts in the bottom tray and as you add your organic waste, the worms will turn it into compost. Once the bottom tray is filled, you can start to add your leftovers to the second tray. The worms will eventually move through the mesh and up into this tray, leaving behind lots of worm-free fertile compost. You'll also need 16 internal support blocks, cut to the same height as the planks. These will strengthen the box. An additional 8 wooden blocks can be used for handles on the boxes, and some additional support for the lid, as shown here. You'll also need some small hole chicken wire or mesh to cover the base of each completed box, a box of screws, some U-nails or a staple gun, a hammer, saw, drill, tape measure and a pencil. Great, now let's get started. First of all, if you've not already done so, you need to cut the walls of the wormery down to size. Remember, this depends entirely on how much waste you want to feed your worms. Once you've got your 16 planks of wood cut, you can begin to put them together. Line up the shorter piece at a right angle on the inside, not the end of the longer piece of wood. Drill in several screws to secure them together, making sure the screws are long enough to go through both planks of wood, but not so long that it sticks out the other end. Repeat on the other side, ensuring this is lined up the same way. Then add the longer piece to the opposite end, running parallel. Now take four internal support blocks that have been cut to size and use a drill to secure with screws. Make sure they don't clash with the existing screws. These supports will make the wormery much more stable and secure. Next take your wire mesh. You can busy this already cut size at many hardware stores or cut it down yourself. Using a hammer and a u-nail or a heavy duty staple gun Secure it into place all around the edges of the box. Try to do this at a slight angle, so that when the wormery is full, the weight of the compost doesn't make the mesh slide off when you try to lift it. Next up is securing the handles. On the end of each box, take a small block of wood. Line this up with the top of the box and ensure a very small overhang. This overhang will help prevent the boxes from sliding around. Secure with two screws. Repeat this on the other side. Finally, drill some air holes around the top of the box. These don't need to be big, but will ensure some proper ventilation for your worms. Repeat this whole process four times to get your four trays. Perfection isn't key here. The children were fully involved in making this one, and that's what gives it its charm. Once you've got your four boxes, you need to make a lid. Take four planks of wood that have been cut down to size. Lay them on a flat surface and place a length of wood that spans the four planks, but that leaves an inch or so either side to ensure it can still fit inside. Secure the thin length of wood with a screw in each plank, ensuring they are firmly together without any gaps. Repeat on the other side. For extra support, add a diagonal support across the center, as seen here, again securing to all four planks. Flip the lid over. We added two grips just to help with the lifting of the lid. Again, secure with screws. You're almost finished. All that's left to consider is whether or not you're going to have a base and a bucket to collect what is known as worm tea. Worm tea is basically liquid fertilizer that you can collect to dilute and add directly to your soil. If you want to collect this, we made a base using two old pallets. We sawed a gap large enough to insert a bucket and over the top fitted a sheet of tarpaulin with a hole cut in the middle. This tarpaulin will collect and siphon down the worm tea into the bucket through the hole, so make sure it all aligns correctly. Last but not least, it's time to put your worms in their new home. 
On the bottom layer, add some torn up newspaper and damp cardboard. Add some existing soil and some specialised worms, either from a local wormery or online. Those that you find in your garden won't work. Then, gradually add your organic waste and watch your worms turn the leftovers into a rich, natural, fertile material. Perfect for helping your garden plants grow. We hope you've enjoyed this how-to video. Be sure to head over to the EEI YouTube channel to find out more ways to make your home, school or wherever you are more sustainable and part of the bioeconomy.